I'm Ben Shires, and this is your Evening Fix. Hey there, Europe. How's it going? How's the, uh, the old weather? Pretty cold over here. How about that um, single currency? How's that working out for you? Still feeling smug? Superior? Is anyone actually following what's going on in the Eurozone? The markets were supposedly in a tailspin. Contagion strikes fear into financial stocks. Stock markets tumble as debt fears spread across continents. If you've been taking notice of any of these frankly alarming headlines, you may have heard of the pigs. Not the rosas, not swine flu, but Portugal, <coughs> Italy, Greece and Spain. This is the term the banking community used for those, the weaker little European economies. Oh, I'm sorry, little European economies. You can be our little piglets. <laughs> Although bankers calling other people pigs is a bit like John Terry calling Ashley Cole a filthy adulterer, or John Prescott calling someone a fat northern twat, or Richard Madeley calling anyone, well, pretty much anyone, a cunt. <laughs> Basically, they're screwed. But with Greece's national debt topping 113%, they are now the second most fucked pig in Europe, after, well, after Kerry Katona, obviously. But unlike Kerry, they can't go to Iceland because Iceland's fucked too. <laughs> Now, it's looking like other EU countries may have to bail them, uh-oh, may have to bail them out. But what happens when a country can't pay its tab? Well, a lot of money is owed to China, who are bound to give the Europeans time to consolidate their debts into one easily manageable payment. Of course, the Chinese love to do that. Or the Chinese could just re repossess whatever they don't have already. The Vatican, for instance, the Acropolis, Human rights, who cares? They're the Chinese! So how did things get so bad for Greece? Why was the deficit so much bigger than people thought? Well, because we had a much deeper recession than, uh, than what was thought. And probably I think that the political cycle, the electoral cycle in 2009 played a role. So the figures were artificially kept down? No, the, 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 the figures were different than the projections, essentially. Oh dear me! What kind of politicians would put off oh, simple things like making cuts and present vastly unrealistic economic projections with catastrophe looming? I think it's right to, to have run a large deficit. Your plans to do so are not sufficiently clear. <clears throat> Those people who want to cut the deficit immediately and cut it very fast are making a mistake with the, the economy. Prime Minister, I just point out that almost no one in the city agrees with you. Those, those plans are based on growth forecasts. They're quite optimistic, in my view. I don't accept that uh, our, our growth uh, projections are over-optimistic. They're the guys that are running our country. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. And there's an election and you've got to vote for one of those. OK. Good night. That was the evening fix. If it ain't breaking news, we don't fix it. <laughs>